And I'm Dave Kaiser. Thanks for joining us on Community Corner outside the Brookview Community Center, a building that's been in the community for many years, and now there's talk of replacing it. The process is moving along, and there's a special open house coming up on the 23rd. To find out more about that event and the whole process, we talk to Rick and Ben here at the Community Center. Here's more. We've pulled together a design team that's been working uh, very closely with the uh, architect from HGA, the architect team I should say, and we've been working from a schematic design level, working on uh, mechanical issues, floor layouts, uh, outside amenities. Yeah, it's been a tremendous amount of uh, effort and conversations and input and feedback and participation from the council to staff to uh, community org organizations and groups uh, working closely with our golf patrons and customers, the team committee. There's been so many people involved to get to this particular point and to put all that feedback and conversation together has been uh, certainly exciting. Our public open house for the community is on February 23rd here at Brookview Community Center and it's from 6 to 7.30 and we will have a display set up of the floor planning to this point, uh, of course the site planning, the massing on the property so residents will get a feel how this building, you know, the size of it, the height of it, you know, sort of how it's expanded, how it fits on our property in proximity to the current facility. And really it's our chance to hear from our residents to say, boy, we really like this, or gee, this gives us a little bit of heartburn. Could we swap this? Could we move that? So this is a key meeting for us. Thanks Rick and Ben for all the information about what's coming up here at Brookview Community Center. That big meeting will be held in this room, the upper room here at the Community Center on Tuesday the 23rd, 6 to 7.30 p.m. It's an open house style event, so come in for a few minutes, take a look, give some comments back. Also opportunity to comment on the city's website, and that is goldenvalleymn.gov.